What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today I got a big old box from Milwaukee and we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing on this bad boy. This is a tool that I've been wanting in my arsenal for quite some time. This thing is rad, it's, it's great. If you're an electrician, a plumber, someone that likes to do fab stuff, uh, really just any sort of DIY stuff, this thing is gonna make your life freaking easy or rip a finger off, so be careful. But uh, let's get into it. So we got a big old box here. We got, uh, it's not a good enough knife. Oh yeah, a little bit of throwing knife action. Just a uh, little cold steel one, not bad. Cool knife, uh, I'd recommend this if you wanna huck it at some logs or something like that. Cool knife to have. Let's get into this thing. Now, I know it's gonna be, a box in a box, so we'll get that box out of the way. I don't know that I would want to carry this one around everywhere I go unless I necessarily needed it, but oh freaking yeah. This is the bad boy. This is the M18 Fuel, the 2729-22 HD, meaning heavy duty, meaning big batteries, meaning Awesome, meaning, well, the best. But, like I said, you can get smaller versions of this. You don't have to get the huge battery, obviously, the huge, bigger amp hour battery with the nine amp hour battery. Yeah, like this, you don't necessarily have to have that. You could get the one with the five amp hour battery if you want, uh, which is plenty good, but you know, this one's gonna last a bit longer. Five times longer, to be exact. And this actually cuts faster than a corded bandsaw has that legendary durability that we know and this thing is rad okay let's get into the box okay all right oh <laughs> uh open it from this side this is the easy side yeah a bit easier <laughs> oops i didn't see that i, sh I should have i should have seen that Okay, but it's a box inside a box, inside of a case, inside of a tool. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, this thing's nuts. Okay, big old case, which is nice if you gotta put it in your van. Oh yeah, there is the band right there. Here is the big sucker. This thing is a deep cut. It will freaking cut some limbs if you need it to, uh, but it will also cut some deep pipe. If you have some big pipes or tubing, I'm probably gonna be doing some stuff on the E30 for some fabrication. So having this is gonna make life easy. Let's pull out the blade right here. Comes with one blade, it looks like. I have a smaller version of this at work. Uh, the way this works is you'll have this little blade adjuster right here. So you wanna go ahead and open that up that's going to release the tension so you can install the blade goes in here right there slip it around the belt the drive wheels right here this is kind of the belt and if you want to do this with gloves it's not a bad idea because you could definitely cut yourself not gonna lie also always take the battery out when you're trying to do this because you don't want any accidents to happen. Oh my God, I do have the battery on it. So we're gonna take the battery off because um, it should be in the safety mode as well. You wanna lock it down. And it does look like this one's got safety engagement every time, which is very nice. That is what you want there. Throw that battery in there. Give it a quick run. Safety is right here. Make sure it's on track. Yep, it is all good there. As you can see, let's watch this thing run. Ooh, nice and smooth. Love the sound of that brushless, that brushless thing right in there. It comes with two nine amp hour batteries and obviously your quick charger right here. Don't forget to register because you could win some awesome tools, which is always good. Let's use the freaking thing. I have enough chargers, so the charger isn't, you know, anything special to me, but it does charge 
M12 and M18 batteries on the side. This is the rapid charger where sometimes you will not have the rapid charger uh, because this one is made for charging the bigger amp hour batteries. So make sure you get the rapid charge if you're using like nine amp hour batteries. I think they even have 12 amp hour batteries, which are just sick. Far as the batteries go, you are gonna need to charge those. I have a nice charged up one right here, ready to go from my other heavy duty tool for working on metal. I got this breaking grinder right here. So that thing's pretty rad. It also uses the nines, but like any of the Milwaukee stuff, you can use any of the batteries on it. So, you know, this thing also, all of these will work with the smaller amp hour batteries. You just won't get as much runtime. Now, as far as the batteries go, I do love the Milwaukee setup where you press a little button here and you get the indicator and it stays up there for a second. Some other tool brands do not do that. These guys right here, you press it and it goes away. So I like that function where you get the lights and they kind of stay on and that way you can look at it and you're not fumbling around trying to you know, look at your tool and see the lights. You can you can look at it for a second. Look at this thing, it is freaking awesome. Now, the one disadvantage to this one in particular, being that it's the heavy duty one, it's freaking heavy. If you don't need this huge opening to cut large pipes or large pieces, um, then maybe get a smaller one if you know you're never gonna do that. I got this one because, well, I could do whatever with it, but if it was me personally, like as an electrician, I would definitely get a smaller one where it may only have like the three inch opening instead of the five inch because it is a lot uh, lighter weight. You can also get ones that I think it cuts like one inch or something like that. So if you're doing little pieces of conduit or something and you only need a little opening, it runs off the M12 and that one's pretty rad because it's lightweight. So if you need it up on a ladder, easy. Now, talking about ladders, we got this little guy right here. So you can put this on top of a two by four or you can hang it off of something like that. Uh, you know, so that is an option there. Got the pit vipers on so you know safety first. I'm gonna throw some gloves on as well. Uh, that way I just don't touch myself in half or something. Speed wise, variable speed is very nice. It, it comes in very slow. But my trigger finger has the safety. It is ambidextrous, so you can use it on both sides, but. Look at that, that is rad. I really, oh, I really like it. So obviously don't do this when the thing is running, but you have this little area here that is adjustable. So if you need it to go out a little bit more, you can, that way you have some more leeway uh, for this. I usually like to leave this out as it makes a little bit of a guard, but obviously never turn this thing on when you're not looking because uh, it'll chew up a finger in no time. Now, we are going to, uh, we're gonna hit one of these guys, this right here is a oil filter. I've been needing to cut some in half because I'm gonna do a video on comparing oil filters coming up soon. So let's let's just chop this thing up real quick. Overall cutting those little oil filters that I did right there, super easy. Uh, one thing to do is if you are cutting something circular, if you're, if it's smaller, I would recommend spinning it into the blade, if that makes sense, into the direction of the cut. If you're spinning with it, it's gonna try to like bite it and kind of take it with you. So if you're doing it in the opposite direction, you have a little bit more control. This is really nice because it actually lays super flat. Um, on this side, I don't know if I can turn it on on this side. Let's try. Yeah, you can kind of turn it on there. You can kind of do it like that. It has a nice flat area. This is the control of the speed that I was talking about. I had it on one. Uh, you can go all the way up to five. So, as far as control goes, that's right there. Let's cut something a little bit more heavy duty because that was just thin sheet metal. Dude, do it on five, guys. Let's do it on five. Okay, so that's slow. We're gonna do it on the high speed here. Let's try it out. Oh, make 
making life so simple, so easy, super clean cut. I mean, if you need something that you're gonna just weld right away if you're doing some sort of like pie cuts or something like that. I mean, look at that. You can, you can do whatever you want with it because you're pretty much ready to go. Just clean this up real quick and start welding. That is rad. So as far as a one-handed operation goes, you can do it, but this is really heavy, guys. This is, it's no joke. Let's put it on the scale real quick so we can get an idea. 14.8 pounds. Not lightweight when you're trying to extend it out with your hand. So that's something to keep in mind. If you do want to get a smaller one, it's going to be a lot lighter weight. But man, this thing is a beast. I can't wait to do some work with this thing. Another thing that's really amazing about this is it actually uses 90% of the same parts as the corded version. It's actually faster than the corded version and this cuts faster than, well right here, uh, this is my fuel version right here. It says time in seconds to cut. I'm not sure exactly what it's cutting, but uh, this one is about like 45, whereas the corded version is right at about 60. Then you got your DeWalt corded version, which is right at about 65 or 70. Then you got the uh, black corded version right up here, which is like 80 or 90. So that's, you know, gonna be one of your cheaper competitors. I'm not even sure what that one would be, but yeah, this thing is killing it. And as far as runtime goes, uh, I guess as far as a, another competitor, you only got two bars there and you got all these bars right here. So sweet. Thanks a ton for watching guys. I hope you liked that little video. Uh, hopefully I was able to kind of shorten it up for you, but man, this thing is going to be sick. Got a bunch of projects coming up for the E30 and different things like that. Uh, we'll be doing some welding and stuff and this is going to make light and ease of chopping up little pieces of tube and that sort of stuff. So we will talk to you soon later guys and wrench on.